Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Today we are going to look at something really interesting which is regarding installation of um, Microsoft Server Core Edition and we'll see how do we install it and later in upcoming tutorial I am going to show you how to work with that. The reason why core edition is being used is of course it is lightweight uh, comparative to the desktop version and some something related to security but because it will not give you any desktop uh, visual desktop to you whatever you have to do you have to manage it remotely and it will be based on command line but if you want you can make use of other server administration console to connect it to this one and manage the server remote from the remote server also so today let's see how do we install a core edition of standard windows uh, server edition so to begin with i'm going to create a virtual machine over here let's uh, go with custom and in custom i'm going to go with i will install operating system later I'm going to go with windows let's say this is 2019 for me and i'll say maybe i'll use it for later for domain controller purpose so i will use it as domain controller Okay, and let's say next. We'll make it default the way it is. We'll keep processor as two by two, which will make it total processor core four. Next, I'm going to use, so I'm going to use, um, let's say four GB for now, right? Let's say next, I'll keep it NAT. SCSI as basic, next, NVRAM, create virtual disk, and I'm going to keep it 60 GB for example, or let's make it 80 GB anyway, we are not allocating the um, hard disk right away, so let's make it 80 GB, next, next, and now we can basically customize the hardware. And in that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the printer. I am going to point it to my installer file, which is over here, 2019. And I'm going to close it now. And you see now the virtual machine is going to sit in virtual machines, DC. And let's finish this off. Just to show you now my virtual machine is created over here under this directory itself. Okay, now let's begin with it. It's a normal procedure like we do for other Windows installation. The only thing which will be differentiating is while selecting which Windows are we going to install, we just need to select core rather than desktop edition. So let's see where exactly we need to select this option. All right, so we are here and now I'm going to click next. Install now. It will prepare the setup, of course, and then it will come up with next screen where we have to select certain options. So it's kind of a wizard which we are going to follow and then we will begin the installation. So this is the place basically where if you see over here, it is Windows 2019 server edition uh, standard valuation, uh, which is basically a core installation. If you see over here, um, this option omits Windows graphical environment managed with a command prompt and PowerShell or remotely with Windows admin center or other tools. If I go with this, it will install graphical also. So the difference between these two are this is data center edition and this is standard for me i'm going to go with standard evaluation without graphics and i'm going to click next i'll accept the agreement next custom 
I'm going to use my hard drive which we have allocated for it. And of course, it has begin the installation of the Windows and you will see it would be much faster and much quicker than normal Windows with graphical addition. Of course, because it is not going to install a lot of features which is related to graphical uh, thing. But what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to, of course, skip this whole part uh, or maybe I'll just keep a very small portion where it, it would be only showing the completion of those areas or just skip them up till the finishing up uh, when I'm going to edit this video. So this is the beauty of editing the video. You can skip unnecessary delaying part of tutorials. And you see now it has quickly done installation feature and now it is just installing updates and it is going to finish this. So, uh, to be honest, it it was basically waiting at 93, 94% and just in a matter of seconds, even microseconds, it has just done this installation features part also. And now it's done. We are going to restart. I normally remove my CD-ROM from here. So let's restart it. So it's just loading it up, getting things ready for us. And once this will be loaded, you will see it only has a command prompt kind of a window available over there. Uh, it will not have any desktop or graphical interface as said earlier. So if you see over here, the user's password must be changed before signing in. I'll say, okay, now I have to keep the new password for my administrator. So I will say, all right, and okay, now the password is changed. I'll say, okay, now if you see, this is what I have over here command shell. Now I'll say IP config for example. So if you see this is the IP which is assigned to my uh, machine. Let's say if we can ping default gateway. And we can. Let's see if we can ping Google IP we can. Let's see if we can do ping to google.com. And you can see all these tests are working. So this is how you install it. Later in the series, we'll see how to manage it uh, remotely through different tools, how to install maybe my domain controller on this core uh, edition of my Windows. Um, but in upcoming tutorial, we are going to look at it. So that's all for this tutorial. We have completed our core server installation of 2019. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.